Hello game devs, welcome back to another G Develop Five Story. So today um I will show you how to get your death animation working for your players. So um I see this um a lot of questions on the forum asking or um asking why the death animation always passes at the first frame. Um and they've been wondering how to get that big. So today um I will show you how to get a perfect um working um dead animation okay that's not all this also works for the um melee and the um attack animation sometimes you get this um animations they just um they play only the first frame um that's because you have some events so today um i'll show you how to get a perfect working that animation so first of all um let's get some objects here we go, player. Sorry, I need to fill in my place animation. So add. Um, first of all, I have my objects placed here, so I'll just fill this into the scene. So I'll just go in my idle animation. Open that up. So we have an idle jump animation. Um. Okay, so here we go. This is our jump animation. Open that up. An animation, and now our walk animation. Here we go, sorry that's a run, so run and lastly which would be our death animation. Okay, so open that and apply. So this is the um exact same um status we get in Chitval, the platformer it's been modified and it looks kinda good, but it's still the same events. Okay, so let's um go to our events. New scene events. Okay, so here we go. I'll just add a new group right here and name that death animation. Okay, so now let's add a subcondition. Now, first of all, we need to create um, a scene variable. So add an action scene variable. Value for scene variable. Let's create a scene variable. Um, I don't need this anymore. Okay, so add, I'll just create this death. Oh, I'm just going to be dead. Okay, so apply and variable dead sign set to value zero. So at the beginning of the scene, it sets, sorry about that. Add a condition Um, at the beginning of the scene. Okay, add an action scene. Variable value of a scene variable dead sign set to value zero. So at the beginning of the scene, it sets the scene variable dead to zero. Now this is what we need. We need this exact scene variable to um um in all the events so it knows when um a button is pressed or um it prevents the first frame from um sorry it prevents the first frame from um, freezing, yeah, freezing at the first frame. So now add an empty event, um, add a condition. Now, once our player, here we go, is in collision, here we go with the object, slime walk. Okay, so once our player is in collision with slime walk, add a condition, trigger once. Okay, now we need to change this to the animation. Um, here we go. You can see this is the animation three. That's the death animation of our player. You can preview that right here and set the speed scale right here. Okay. Supply. So Use an events. Let's go back. Um, add an action scene. Sorry. Player animation. So change the animation of player set to value three, which is the third animation of our player and now we need this to set our scene variable by of a scene variable scene variable dead sign set to value one so this is come from the our player our player is dead and we would use the scene variable okay so now add an empty fence now add a condition so once the animation current animation here we go um current animation of 
of play is set to value 3 and the animation of player animation so player's current animation sorry player's animation is finished okay so now once the number of um, the animation of play is set to 3 this sets it to 3 and once the animation is finished um, okay I have my fade extension here so I'll just set that in here okay also this so once it's finished now you can set in your um, action here I have a fade extension I created um, I think in my next tutorial I will show you how to create um, this um, really simple and easy um, extension I think this should be the easiest extensions create in G develop file okay so now this is where we need this scene variable so here we go at the beginning of the scene set the scene variable dead to zero so this is to state that here our player um, is not dead once it sets to one our player is dead now what keeps your animation or your um, animation from freezing or stopping at the first frame is because of this exact event here player hitbox is on the floor and once play hitbox is on the floor it just um once it's time to switch it switches to this animation and then it switches back because of this it changes the animation to zero once the play box is not moving so by default it takes it back to zero once it's on the floor so as soon as it's set to three it is reverted back to the animation zero once your play is not moving and the animation two so now we need this to know when to do this we need this to know when our, our player is alive um, to carry out this action that's why we created the scene variable so here we go now let's create you right here scene variable value of a scene variable dead uh, equal to value zero so this is alive this is our here we go alive um, scene variable so once the play box is jumping and the scene variable dead is set to zero it changes the animation to one that's great now once our play box is falling and um, the animations on the scene variable dead is set to zero, it changes the animation to one. Once our player hit box is on the floor by step um, and the animation dead is set to zero, it um, changes and our player is moving, hit box is moving, it changes the animation to zero and it changes and if it's not if it's moving it changes it to two. If it's not moving it changes it to zero. So once our left key is pressed, we don't want our player flipping right and left, so just paste that here. So this only works once our player um, is alive, and paste that right, left. Okay, so preview this. Okay, so there we go, that's the fade. Um, oh, sorry about this, I would I'll just hide that real quick. Um, hide. Sorry. Hitbox hide. Okay, I'll preview that. So here we go. Um, well, it looks like once our player is in collision, now our player fades. And okay, here we have a problem. Okay, as you can see, our player was jumping. That's because um, our player hitbox has. The um, behaviors, the default controls checked. So this does not um, work. So once the animations this don't work, once they don't work, the um, default controls still work because there's nothing to tell on the default controls that the player is dead. So now we need to fill in this event at a condition. Once the scene variable value of a scene variable dead is set to value um zero okay so once sorry just toggle disable once it's set to the value one add an action we have um an action to disable that here we go ignore default controls yes so this would ignore the default controls and i'll just take this out for now just to show you this Take out the fade in and fade out extension. Okay, plug it disable and preview. So here we go. 
Here we go. Um, is in collision. Since you play, fades out. I'm pressing currently. Um, pressing my right and left, but my player can not move anymore. So from here, you've successfully created um, a perfect, a good, um, a working death animation. This also works with the attack animation because I see more of the um issue with the death animation to the attack animation. That's why I created this based on death animation. But it also works for the attack animation freezing at the first frame. So here you can just fill in. Your action like the fade out I created on uh, preview so phase in jump phase in collision and it fades out so there we go that's how to create um, a working death animation um, so thanks for watching I hope this was useful